A doctor helps us overcome our illness. He or she takes care of our health. In our series, Money Doctor, we help doctors overcome their money-related ailments. And joining me to do this, the Money Doctor is Gaurav Mashruwala, India's best-known certified financial planner. Thanks very much, Gaurav. And joining me now is Dr. Bharti Desai. She's a family physician. She runs her own clinic yes. in uh, Mahim. And do you at all get time? I know you must be making a fair amount of money. All doctors <laughs> do. But do you uh, also end up spending some time asking yourself what you need to do with your money? That's always a big question, Mark. First, of course, you pay off your bills and everything. And then sometimes, you are right, very little time, uh, how to invest, what to do. In MBBS, we are always taught everything excepting investment okay. and how to manage your money and how to plan. What, what kind of financial products have you been buying? Gold, I've always felt it's not very good as an investment, but only thing is you just need it for some time. Yeah, stocks and FD. FD, you tend to do more because it's very easy. And as soon as you have some surplus, you tend to make an FD. Have you, have you got any to, mutual funds for yourself? Yeah. You have some? Yeah, we have some mutual funds. And now these SIPs are also coming up. Hmm. So we have, because we are not that uh, disciplined in investing. Yes, absolutely. So, which is why maybe an SIP is a very good route. You said you are not disciplined. Yeah. And that's what is a crux to wealth creation. SIP is a habit. It's like you do it in regular men. The way in bank we do recurring deposit, in mutual funds we do SIP. Mm -hmm. It's a fixed amount invested month on month in a particular kind of scheme. Now mutual funds, that particular scheme could be investing in stock markets, some mutual funds invest in gold, some do purchase bond and debenture, some have combination. But the moment you start doing SIP, it's a habit that you're doing in a disciplined manner. So for most people, SIP is one of the wonders of wealth creation. If you stick on to that over a period of time, you will be able to achieve most of your goals. Your son who's 23 and when there are a couple of years left for his marriage, you may want to start an SIP. So that what will happen is by the time his marriage expenses are in the offing, you are ready with certain amount. Say if your son's name is Parag and if you are doing an SIP, instead of calling an SIP, call it Parag Marriage Fund. You know, your commitment will go up and it gets focused. So look at that. If there are some other goals, say you want to go on a foreign vacation in a year or two, then look at something like a fixed deposit or a recurring deposit, something called as debt funds. If you're looking at longer term, five, six, seven years, you have stocks, which is brilliant. But if once you invest in stocks, you ensure that you keep track of it. If you're not, then stay away and look at mutual funds and SIPs. That's a better option because stocks, you will have this problem as to whether the performance is good, not good. You're dependent on somebody here. Somebody's taking care of your money. You're paying him fees. And then again, you're saying you're not looking at retirement, which is brilliant. And we want more and more physicians to remain in profession. But even think of old age because at some point of time you may want to reduce your practice yes. or your health may not permit or you may want to pursue some other activities yeah. along with it. So for retirement apart from PPF and you know, other things that you may want to consider, also consider one more SIP for your retirement. So start different SIPs for different goals, for daughter's marriage, yeah. son's education, for your retirement. And then based on that, your overall plan will become more aligned to your requirements. Wish you all the very best yeah. and Thank God you bless you. Much. And may you keep serving humanity like the way you are. Thank, Thank you. you. An Investor Awareness Initiative by SBI Mutual Fund. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.